What's going on, everybody? I'm here in Mobile, Alabama. I'm actually playing a music show. My buddy Nathan stopped by. What's going on? Got his kayak over there. You see his outback over there in the background. He offered to help me change out my fins. I've never done it before. He says it's super easy. He's passing by, so uh, let's see. Let's see how it goes. I, I've never even seen it done. So this is my mirage with the regular fins, right? Right. So what's the first step, Nathan? You gotta take your split rings out right here off your pins. So there's a split ring right there. Right. Pull your pin out. Pull the pin out. Slide your fin off. Not that easy. So, so there's a split most... ring on each on each fin. Right. All right, so you just slid them off. All right, get you a Now those range. rods, you're gonna take the rods off? Right, you take the rods out. Here's a little bit. So there's a little uh, a flat spot here for your crescent wrench. Right. Yeah, I hit stuff every now and then, so my front one's always a little bent. So I got these from Mariner Sales. Look, the retail on them is 132. They're actually not that much longer than a regular fin. Look, what is that? About two inches longer, Nathan? About two inches. Two and it gives quarter? you about twenty percent more efficiency in the water. Twenty percent. But look, that twenty percent feels like fifty percent. It goes a lot faster. It grabs a lot more water. It's like going from first or second gear on a ten-speed up to about ninth or tenth gear on a ten-speed. A lot more resistance. Great for big water. I know because Nathan let me borrow his. <laughs> I used to use these years ago, but. I started having trouble on the flats, but now I have other Mirage drives, so I can switch those to flat for the flats. I would say we tried that in, what, Louisiana? Yeah. So he's just backing those off, and there's a flat spot where you can put your wrench on each rod. New rods are a little longer. And this is cool. I'm glad to see this done. Let's say you want to just snug these rods down. You, won't, you don't want to go too tight in case you have to change one on the water or unbend your, your rod if you hit something. So you're just sliding that on there. Slide the new one fin in. You can even reuse your old clevis pins. They're the same. So you're just putting your pin back in there. Or they give you new pins. They give you new pins, but you can reuse your old ones if you need to. And then you put your split ring on there. You put the split ring back out. in. Split ring pliers help in this situation, huh? Big time. There you go. Keeps from backing out all stainless steel, it looks like. That's it. You definitely uh, got the engineering down on these things pretty good. They do, man. Yes. Now I can't wait to go offshore. And you're done. That it? That's it. I'll be darn. Man, that's awesome. I appreciate it, Nathan. Oh, yeah, of course. Hey, there you go. Changing out regular fins to turbos, man. That easy. Done by Nathan. You going fishing or what? Try to. All right, man. I can put these to use. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check us out at 30 Miles Out Patreon. We'll catch you later. What?